Hi guys, today I'm here to do my June wrap up. Um, I had a really, really good reading month in June. I read a total of six books, which was amazing for me. It's the most books I've read in a very, very long time. Because if you didn't know, I've been in a bit of a reading slump and I'm finally starting to get back into the whole thing of reading. I apologise that this is going up late. I'm just far too lazy to film and I need to sort that out. But we all know that because I say it every bloody time I film a video. All of the books I read this month, bar one, were really, really good. I really enjoyed them all, and it was just all around a really good reading month. So I guess I'll just get into talking about the books that I read. The first book that I read this month was the one that was kind of a bit of a letdown and disappointment compared to the others, and that was Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I gave this book two stars because I just I really didn't enjoy it. I really couldn't get into it. I found the characters flat, I found them boring, there was nothing relatable about any of them. The plot was just so coincidental, if something needed to happen it would be plucked out of thin air and it would just be there so that it could push the plot point on. I just really didn't enjoy it. I mean, I did enjoy the idea of what the book could have been about and it held so much promise, but I've heard so many good things about this, I was kind of disappointed and let down. So yeah, not not part of the hype on this one for me unfortunately. The next book that I read I don't have a physical copy with me because I borrowed it from work and that is The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow by Catherine Woodfine. I read this because it was the children's book of the month at Waterstone so I thought I'd better read it so I could talk about it and I really enjoyed it. It was like a old-fashioned mystery novel and the characters were great, the friendships were great and I can't read to read, wait to read the rest of the series. It's kind of like an old-fashioned famous vibe in a blight and whodunit novel and it was just really good. The setting was stunning. It was set in like a um, huge department store so kind of like it was inspired by Mr. Shelfridge's and is it Harrods, you know, the really big one that I've never been to and I can never go to because it's super expensive and just really, really enjoyed it. So I gave that one four stars. The third book that I read this month was again a Waterstones book of the month and that was Waterstones fiction book of the month. I read this book on my Kindle and that is The Versions of Us by Laura Barnett. I wasn't expecting to love this book as much as I did. It hit home with me a lot. So it's a fiction book and it's not anything that I really usually read and it's very different. It's basically three different sets of stories about a couple that meet at university and then there's three versions of their life from that point which they meet and it is so incredible it's kind of the the huge what if question of life what if this had happened differently what if that had happened how would my life be if that changed and i just feel like anybody that reads this can find something relatable out of it i related obviously to stuff that was more my age and then the older it got i started to relate it to my nan and her life which was kind of hard for me because I have only just recently lost her which you know is never fun for anybody so reading about that and then thinking oh what if my nan had done this differently in her life what if this had happened and then there would be bits in the stories that I would just relate to my nan and the story for one of them was even set in the beginning in Kent where my nan lives so it was it was hard but beautiful to read and I shed a lot of tears and I just really recommend anybody reads it because if you can't relate it to yourself I'm sure there's going to be a family member that you can relate it to like I did and it just it adds a whole nother level to the story and it makes you emotional. I really enjoyed the characters, um, I loved some characters in one, hated them in another version but the versions run alongside each other so they sort of interweave so it's not like the whole of version 1, the whole of version 2 and then the whole of version 3. And the chapters are only like 4 or 5 pages long so it's a really really easy quick read and well, it's not easy but it's a really quick read and I really really enjoyed it. So I gave that one 4.5 stars. The next two books that I read were The Winner's Curse and The Winner's Crime by Mary Rutowski. Don't know how to pronounce that because there's a K and I can't figure out if the K is silent or not. But I really, really enjoyed these books. Um, Alexis from Rocket Reads recommended me these, so I picked them up. And oh yeah, oh yeah, if you are looking for something that has like a forbidden romance and other underlying things and a strong character, then you are gonna wanna read these. I gave The Winner's Curse four stars and The Winner's Crime five stars. I just preferred this one so much more. The cliffhanger at the end is amazing. The characters grow and there's so much stuff that happens in this one where you're like, oh, will you just 
stop and think for a moment and in this one again it's just great the characters are great the setting is great and I really really enjoyed them and I honestly believe that they are worth the hype and the final book that I read this month is one of the most relatable books I've ever read and that is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell I gave this book four stars I loved it it's the only Rainbow Rowell book that I hadn't read so I thought I'd pick it up and read it and I just related to the main character so much Lincoln is just kind of me in male form with the stuff that he goes through with his mum and his mum being like, you need to meet someone, you need to go out more, but that is what I deal with, I deal with it so much. The characters are great, the relationship between Beth and Jennifer over email is great, you can really just, I don't know how she does it, she makes the characters and the storyline so relatable. This doesn't get a five stars because the end felt a little bit rushed and I was a little bit disappointed, I wanted more of a build up, but we didn't get that at the end so... But other than that, I really, really enjoyed it and it's just another great Rainbow Rowell book to add to the list. So those are all the books that I have read this month, uh, read last month even. I, like I said, had a really good reading month. I really enjoyed them and I am already back. I have already read three books this month and I am on my fourth and I feel like that is a roll. As per usual, no July TBR for me because I don't do TBRs. I don't stick with books that I pick out at the beginning of the month because it all depends on how I feel. So. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! The final book that I read that of the... Fucking dogs, I swear to God. Reading month as in term... What? Why? Why can I never speak?